too many. Uh, Alright, so we have some questions here. Ask the questions on the thing. What, uh, sort of about oil and cliff bars. Does that have an effect of your health? Well, I've got a box of cliff bars. Here's peanut butter. I can't see any oil in there. I'll read it out. Uh, organic brown rice syrup, organic rolled oats, soy crisps, uh, soy protein, rice flour, barley malt extract, cane syrup, organic cane syrup, organic peanut butter, peanut flour, peanuts, organic soy flour, organic roasted soybeans. I'm going through it. Oat fiber, organic date paste, natural flavors, sea salt, vitamins and minerals, vitamin E, vitamin B, B6, B12, B3, vitamin D2, and there's no oil. Uh, if there was oil in there, I can't find it, and even then, it's minimal. Yeah, uh, everybody's having oil, anyway. But here's the thing. Nobody on the fucking planet got morbidly obese meat cliff bars, because if they did, we'd be fucking... Look, we look like fucking heroin addicts. Speak for yourself. Uh, Freely, is a question for you. Brown rice or white rice and why? Please answer freely. Um, white rice, I like it better. Tastes better, digests better. Bam, that's it. And I like white rice as well. We eat any rice, but most of you eat white rice. Uh, why did I delete the video on Tony Robbins yesterday? Because it glitched. It froze for like um, three minutes or two minutes and then it, glitched, it just glitched. So I took it down. I'll do another one today, hopefully, if I remember. Uh, Freely, what skin products do you use? Um, iRaw. 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 Uh, we have... Are you sponsored? No. It's not sponsors. It's pretty rare that you get someone with freely social media status. I'm not getting sponsors, shout outs, or whatever. iRaw and 100% pure. Um, do you think, this one for you, do you think steroids would be legal in professional sports? Never. Steroids will never be legal because... The average fan doesn't understand what steroids are and how they work, etc., and how effective they are and how common they are. So it won't be. It's just it's like Santa Claus. Will we ever tell kids three years old, look, Santa Claus doesn't fucking exist. It's purely marketing bullshit. We're not going to. That's not going to happen because there's too much money in kids believing Santa Claus. There's too much money in noobs, even on YouTube, believing that they're fake natty heroes and, uh, and natty. It's not going to happen. Here's one on how to not gain weight if you come from restricting. <laughs> I'm a ballerina and I need to be very lean. You have no choice. So let's, let's focus on that one. So Yeah, you have no choice. You, you are going to gain weight if you have been restricting your calories. So restrict restriction equals gain, long-term gain. It's going to happen. And the reason that is is because you tweak your hormones. You tweak your insulin, your ghrelin, your leptin. I mean, there's, there's so many cases of people coming... Like, nobody on the planet, nobody can stay anorexic doing raw till four you can't because all of a sudden you're getting enough calories now so all those years of restriction you've got to you're gonna you're gonna pop out read the biology of human starvation look up adaptive thermogenesis that's why everybody gets healthy obese people get slim and anorexic people get healthy they put on weight and they have to do you have to heal your hormones to heal everything it's been documented this is not just us with thousands of people in raw till four etc over the years this is dr ansel keys adaptive thermogenesis Biology of human starvation, like 1942 or whatever it was, is well documented. If you restrict, guaranteed, you will gain to some degree at some point once you introduce healthy, normal amount of calories. And the good thing is, is the gain is you get a ceiling on raw till four. With standard diet, <laughs> obesity, all right? So raw till four, you get a ceiling and then you go back down over time. So the raw till four ceiling is what you should call it. And you can't go beyond that. But with the standard American diet, Aussie diet, the animal protein, paleo diet, <laughs> look like Sally Fallon when you're, you know, or uh, Jimmy Moore or someone like that, you know, or Robert Lostig, you will become obese in standard diet. So restriction, people do, you know, even some people just like do a banana island, eat 10 bananas a day or three potatoes a day, whatever. You can do it for a bit, but what are you going to do later on? All you're doing is you damage your training ability. And then when you damage your training ability, you damage your metabolism. So... You can do fasts and stuff like that. And those people who try and say, oh, you know, restriction is the only way to weight loss. It's just bullshit. It's the only way to weight gain, really. The, yeah, the only way to sustained weight loss is dietary and lifestyle reform. You didn't get fat eating bananas. You didn't get fat eating cliff bars. You got fat on animal products. You got fat on shit. We don't recommend eating crap. We recommend eating healthy, clean foods, lean foods. Because it's about everybody's on a diet. Just about everybody is restricting their calories. Mm. And it's just not working. Look around. Look around. It's not working. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I mean, Freely and myself, look at our videos from years ago. Are we getting fatter? 
<laughs> we're getting hot. I can't, I can't even do too much training. I was with Chris Froome last week twice. And I'm like, I can't go with these guys much longer because if I do that brutal workout today, I'm going to look like a, even more of a smack out tomorrow. All right? So I just, I just can't do it. I, can't, I couldn't even go train with Chris. I can keep up. I can't get them down. I can keep up in the hills. No worries. But I'll be burning so many calories. I'll be, you know, I, I, I want to avoid doing it. I've got some Everest coming up. I'll get, we just, we, we battle with maintaining weight. You know, we like having being fit. We have to keep our training down freely. One last question for you. Uh, favorite Cliff Bar flavor? Talk about Cliff Bars today. Favorite Cliff Bar flavor? Oh my God, there's so many. Um, I would say white macadamia. White chocolate macadamia. That's going to be my favorite one. For me, it's peanut butter. But I'll eat any of them. I hate that one. What's your favorite Cliff Bar flavor? Let me know down below. Let us, any questions, let us know down below. Just, do, if you like this Q&A video, you want to see more, thumbs up. Really? Any mm -hmm. like closing thoughts? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right.